Hello everyone, this is Mary from Athena's Bibliotheca, and I have my journal out, which means it's time for a wrap-up. And this one is going to be the wrap-up for December. I have actually a pretty decent stack of pictures this month because I read 10 books. Let's get started. So first off, every, like every month, we have the cover page and I wanted to do something semi-holiday related, Christmas related, and I didn't except for just doing Santa or something. So I got pictures for the Nutcracker the Barbie one specifically, but I guess it could be whatever. Start that one. And that's December's cover page. So the first book that I read in December was where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. These are the pictures I chose for it. I picked up this book because of Gavin Reads It All. He really enjoyed this book and I wanted to give it a try. He said that it was more very Ghibli Studios-esque, like it gave off Ghibli vibes. And I can see that when I read it, but it just, it wasn't a book. For me really it was it was okay anything i could talk about it i would have just been like it's okay it wasn't really my type of story let's get to making the page for it And that's the finished one for Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, and continue to the next one. The next book I read was When You Reach Me by Rebecca Steed. These are the pictures I chose for it. This was actually one of the books that I needed to read for Sarah Without an H's Secret Santa for Patreon readathon, and I really enjoyed it. It was a little weird, <laughs> but it was a fun time. I kind of wish there was more like trying to say this without spoiling it. I wish there was a dual timeline. I'm just gonna say it like that and then so that it's not spoils. <laughs> but I wish it kind of was, not gonna lie. But it was fun to follow the characters around, trying to figure out what was going on, even though you're pretty certain you know what was going on the whole time. Or at least I did. I was pretty certain I knew what was going on the whole time. Even when the characters are being dumb, as 12 year olds are. <laughs> Let's get to making the spread. And there's the finished spread for When You Reach Me. The next spread is going to be two books, and that's there are no saints and there is no devil by Sophie Lark. These are the pictures that I chose for it. This series is not about good people, but I had the funnest time following them. <laughs> so I don't know what to say because they were just a fun time. I don't know if you would like it, but I enjoyed myself when I was reading it. If you don't know these books are about a ser serial killer falling in love with an ar another artist because the serial killer is also an artist maybe look up stuff about it before you start reading it but it was so fun let's make this spread plus this book landed in my top 10 so there's also that <laughs> And 
that spread is done. I really like how this spread turned out. And the next book that I read was actually a reread. And that was The Percy Jackson and the Lightning Hit Thief by Rick Riordan. Um, these are the pictures I chose. If you don't already know this about me, let me inform you that I am Percy Jackson obsessed. I love this story so very much. It's one of my personality traits at this point. So uh, I already knew I was going to like it when I started it, and I did. For those of you who know about the video I was making on it, no you don't. <laughs> I decided I'm not going to release the video. It just wasn't turning out how I was picturing it, so I'm just not gonna finish it. Sorry for those who wanted to watch that. Maybe I'll try it again someday because I'm always up for a Percy Jackson reread. As you know, as I was just explaining, I love this story. Awesome, amazing, wouldn't change a thing. Percy Jackson himself is like one of my all-time favorite characters in a book period. And I'm super happy I reread it so that I could put a spread in here for it. So there's that. So let's get started with the spread. And that's the final, that's the spread for Percy Jackson. The next books I read is another three book spread, My Love Mix Up, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. This is another book that I picked up for the Secret Santa readathon that I was participating in. And this story is just a really cute romance story about a, two guys falling in love. It's just, it was just so adorable and I loved it. So I'm glad that uh, it was on the list in My Secret Santa. <laughs> so we are going to make the spread for it. And that's the finished spread for my love makes up. Such a cute story. And then we go on to the next read, which is another reread. Just rereading all my favorites in December. My reread in December, or er, my next reread was Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I don't know if you've never heard of this story. Are you new to booktube? I feel like this story pops up all the time for good reason. It's a group of morally gray characters getting together to go on a heist and it's just i love it so much i love every single character in the story amazing everything is perfect about the story and i want to change any of it once again one of my top favorites of all time up there with percy jackson let's make the spread for it And there's my Six of Crows spread. The final book I read in 2023 was Heaven's Officials Blessings, Blessing, Volume 1. Here's the pictures I chose for it. I enjoyed this book quite a lot, actually. I love the main character. It's, he's just a really fun character fo to follow. In the little um, relationship he develops with the other character, so good i love them they're precious i just want to give them hugs i just really need the next volume in my hands whenever the money gods decide to bless me <laughs> so let's make the final spread for 2023 
And that is the final spread for December. I think I had a pretty decent reading month. I read 10 books. I'm surprised by that. I really am, actually. But then again, um, three of them were manga, so it feels shorter. It doesn't take as long for me to read. I read the three manga probably in a day if you put them together, so like, it's whatever. <laughs> but overall, my reading month was a success in my opinion. So there, that's all I really can ask for. That's everything, so I hope to see you next week, but I make no promises. Bye!